Are you looking for a quick, fun kids yoga sequence to get them started on a good day? Well, welcome to Kids Virtual Yoga. My name is Michelle and I'm so excited to share yoga with you. You don't need any special equipment to do this sequence, just a comfortable non-slip surface and make sure you're wearing comfortable clothes as well. The Good Day Yoga is a two-part video series, each 10 minutes long. You can choose to do them on separate days, or if you want to combine them into a 20-minute practice, you may do that as well. All right, let's get started. We're going to begin today in a nice, strong mountain pose. Before we get into mountain pose, I want you to bring your hands up and look at your fingertips. And at the end of each fingertip, I want you to imagine that you have a laser beam coming out of each fingertip. And the laser beam can be whatever color you want it to be. Does everybody have their laser beam fingertips ready? Okay. We're going to take those laser beam fingertips and we're going to point them straight to the ground. And when we do that, we're going to activate all of the muscles in our body. So our leg muscles are activated, our core muscles are activated, and our arm muscles are activated. Good. From here, we're going to take our laser beam fingertips and raise them up to the sky. And we are in an upward mountain. Our muscles are still strong and engaged. Take your laser beam fingertips and start to turn them over to one side, coming into a shape we call crescent moon. And in crescent moon, you should be feeling a nice big stretch on the side body. Nice big inhale. And exhale as we come back to upward mountain. Nice. And now to the other side, crescent moon. Good. Nice big stretch. All right. Big inhale. And exhale back to upward mountain. We're going to bring our hands to our hearts. And we're going to do something called volcano breath. And I want you to imagine a volcano in the lava bubbling up, bubbling up, bubbling up and then flowing down the sides of the mountain. And this is volcano breath. We're going to inhale and exhale. Good. Another one. Inhale and exhale. Nice. One more volcano breath. Hands at your heart. Inhale. And as we exhale, bend your knees and rain your fingertips all the way down to the ground. And here we are in a forward fold. Keep that bend in your knees and take your laser beam fingertips and begin to paint the ground in front of you, rocking back and forth. We're getting a nice, good stretch in the back of our legs called the hamstrings and in our lower backs. <laughs> I can see that you're working hard. All right. Next, make your hands look like a starfish so your fingers are spread nice and wide. And we're going to plant one hand down, two hands down, and step one foot all the way back and the other foot all the way back. And look at you in a nice, strong plank pose. Good. Plank is so good for building the muscles in your body and getting you nice and strong. <laughs> okay, we're going to lower our knees and we're going to lower our bodies all the way to the ground. Take your laser beam fingertips and point them straight out in front of you. And then if you're ready for it, lift up your back feet. And you are in a superman pose or superwoman pose. And you're getting your back so nice and strong. All right, let's take a rest. Good. Another superman or superwoman in three, two, one. 
Point your laser beam colored fingertips straight in front of you. Maybe fly through the sky and do a couple tricks. Good, and lower. We're gonna bring our starfish hands back underneath our shoulders, curl our toes under, come back up to our knees, and then back up to that nice strong plank pose again. From here, we're gonna raise our hips to the sky and do our best to lower our heels as far as they'll go. Go ahead and pedal back and forth. You're in downward facing dog. This is such a great pose. Really gets the blood flowing in the body. And when we pedal our feet like this, I sometimes like to think that we're taking our dog for a walk. <laughs> Good, downward facing dog. And maybe just try to sit still for just a second as we take one deep inhale and exhale together. Good. Then we're gonna walk our dog all the way up to meet our hands. We've got a nice bend in our knees. And we're gonna slowly rise back up to a nice strong mountain. And inhale as we come to an upward mountain. Exhale as we bring our hands to our heart. And one more volcano breath all together. Here we go. Nice big inhale. And exhale. Bend your knees. Lower all the way back down to the ground. Starfish hands. One starfish hand, two starfish hands. Step one foot back, step the other foot back. And we're on a nice strong plank one more time. Lower our knees, lower our bodies all the way down. And you guessed it, one more superwoman, one more superman. You got this, I know you're working hard. Laser beam fingertips out in front of you. Make those lasers go as far as you can see. And raise your feet and we're here for five, four, getting our backs really strong today. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. From here, we're gonna bring our knees and our legs together. And then we're gonna swim our fingertips behind us and lower our foreheads to the mat or to the ground. And we're gonna come into my favorite pose of all, child's pose. Now today when you're in child's pose, I want you to really notice your back right up here, right up here in these muscles. And as you're breathing in and breathing out, I want you to feel these back muscles expand and contract. Expand means get bigger, and contract means to get smaller. So let's take some deep breaths. Good. Were you able to feel your back expanding and contracting from here? we're going to come into our mindful body position. So we're going to cross our legs, and then I want you to pretend that there's a string attached right at the top of your head, just an imaginary string. Go ahead and grab that imaginary string, and I want you to pull that string up until it makes you sit up nice and straight and tall mindful body. <laughs> we're going to do something called belly breathing and we're going to use a tool called the Hoberman sphere. In order to do belly breathing, we're going to take deep breaths and we're going to try to send that breath all the way into our tummies so far down that it makes our bellies expand just like the Hoberman sphere. Now I want you to try to breathe through your nose but if you have a cold or allergies today and you're kind of stuffy, it's okay to breathe through your mouth too. But if you can, try to breathe through your nose and send that breath all the way into your belly. Let's do five belly breaths together. Okay, here we go. Inhaling through our nose, 
sending that breath all the way into our bellies and then letting that air out through our nose again. One. Two. Three. Last one. Really deep breath. Great job. Take a moment and notice how you feel.